Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel What the Beck. Today we're going to be going through my cat bullet journal and I know that sounds super extra but I actually find it really helpful so I thought I would show you. And so first we're going to be doing just a flip through of the pages that I already have and this is going to be in real time so that you can read through if you'd like to. And if you hear some purring and jingling, that's because my cat Lewis is actually on the bed right now and she has decided to record with me. So we might be hearing some of her, but the main purpose of this video is just to show you different kinds of information that you can compile in your bullet journal or in a separate one for your pet, or in this case, my cat, that could be helpful for you. So as you could see, I left the index open so you can see what types of pages are in here. But for me, the most helpful ones are the ones about symptoms of like sicknesses and the care pages. And the care pages are actually <laughs> so helpful that I make one every month to keep track, sort of like a habit tracker. So the second part of this video is going to be me showing you the habit tracker pages that I made. So this is the habit tracker page for February. This is the setup that I'm going to show you. And I also have a journaling section that kind of goes along with that. So like if Lewis has like a symptom of something, I write down that she has that so I can tell how long it's been. So she has jumped right in front of me now. And we are going to start off with a journaling sticker from the Happy Planner. And I'm gonna just put this down with the name of the month on it because it's lettering is better than what I can currently do. And it's just faster. So I just plop that down, fill it in, and get going. So as I said before, these habit type pages are actually the most helpful for me. It's where I keep track of when I feed my cat and if she has her monthly flea and take medicine, if she jumps on the bed like a crazy cat, or all kinds of stuff like I have when I have to scoop out the litter box, when I have to clean out the litter box, and when I have to empty the litter genie, and just the supplies that I have for that. I also make sure to write if she has her dental treats after her meals because that's how I like take care of her teeth is I give her the chewable treat things and she does tricks for them so she knows how to high five and shake and we're working on sit but it's hard to train her to, to do a sit because you can only sit down once and then she doesn't want to get up to do another sit so yeah but these pages are fairly simple you just make a checklist for either the number of times you want to do something per month or the number of days in the month in the case of like the feeding. So I would just, for February I did 28 days and I did it with a like a, a row of 10. That way I didn't have to write the dates on it so I knew that it was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. As you can see when I flip back I did used to date it but I figured that as I'm not really gonna be missing feeding her. I'm more likely to miss brushing her on the weekend or something like that. So I'll know what day it is based on the last time I fed her or something like that. But yeah, and this month, well, this month is gonna be March, but for February, back when I filmed this, I was doing a rainbow theme because I have all of these like extra stickers and they don't really fit the same theme that I like to do in my planner or my bullet journal and I just decided that I'd rather not waste them and I'll use them in the cat bullet journal because the cat doesn't really care how it looks so I just use these little scrap stickers for that. If you recall that I said Lewis has treats after she eats her meals, I kind of condensed the treats and food section into one so if you'll see any place that it says breakfast or dinner I have two slashes like a backslash and a forward slash so it's okay if I miss giving her treats for a little bit because that's something she has to do tricks for and sometimes in the morning I just don't have the time to do that so I just give them to her but in the case that I entirely forget to give her treats it's less important than if she ate 
So I have a slash for if she ate and a slash for if she had treats because one is different than the other, obviously. So yeah, you just figure out what you have to do for your pet or your cat, do your research. As I said in my previous video, if you're making a, a bullet journal for your pet, make sure you do a lot of research on the things that they need and what's healthy for them. And like, if you want to give them like people food, make sure you track the days that you give them people food so that you know if they're having an, a reaction to anything or just be informed when you're making these pages so that you know how often or how much you have to do something. And that will also help your cat live a happier life or your pet. She's staring at me like I'm about to like get jumped on or something. Are you coming over here? Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> okay, so she thinks I'm insane now. But yeah, that was basically the setup and I added some cute stickers Again, just to make it fun and to use up the stickers I already have. And yeah, so that's basically it. And of course I just added my journaling page. And yeah, so that was my setup. If you like this video, be sure to like it and you can subscribe if you wanna see more. And my cat likes to jump on my desk while I'm filming. So you might see more of her later. And yeah, here she comes. She's coming to say goodbye. Are you gonna say goodbye? She said goodbye by walking away, so bye. <laughs>